His name is Bruce Wayne, the big-eared four-year-old chihuahua of Instagram fame. Owner Misha Kaufman can't imagine life without him, and now the Bel Air woman doesn't really have to. I didn't necessarily need a robotic copy. Um, I just wanted to see another piece of him and see how that would be. Meet Clark Kent, Wade Wilson, Peter Parker, and Tony Stark, Bruce's superhero clones who just turned six months old. Bruce, where's Bruce? They are the genetic identical match of the original, while their coloring and their personalities vary. Each part of their personality is an uh, exaggerated part of his personality. For instance, we have a jealous one, <laughs> we have an angry one, we have a really sweet one, and a really calm one. I would say the older they get, the more and more they're becoming similar to him. It began with a small tissue sample of Bruce Wayne shipped to Viagen Pets in Texas. Technicians culture millions of cells with each cell containing all the DNA needed to produce a clone. Then comes a donor egg with the nucleus removed and replaced with the cultured cell. Fused together, the embryo starts to grow. Through Skype, Viagen's Melaine Rodriguez explains the next step that involves a surrogate. And it's very similar to an IVF procedure, this embryo transfer. The surrogate has a normal gestation time and then she'll give birth to one or possibly two or maybe more um, puppies or kittens that are all going to each be genetically identical to that original animal. The Chihuahua puppies seen in the sonogram were actually carried by a beagle and were born in October. Though their spots are different, their genetic marker report shows VGK 304 through 308 are all identical to the original. It's okay. Dr. Joe Zolti from Middle River is their veterinarian. In each visit, we do a thorough exam, and they're, they're all very healthy and doing fine. Viagen Pets has produced more than 100 pet clones at a cost of $50,000 for dogs and $25,000 for cats. The majority of our clients are just preserving cells. So, um, you know, just to have that option, because once the pet is gone, they're gone. Those in the animal rescue community, like Barks in Baltimore, are opposed to cloning pets. At Barks alone, we take in 11,000 homeless animals every year, and the goal is to place all of those in homes. Um, and so we need people to adopt the pets that we have. Misha, who does a lot of charity work for rescue organizations, respects that it is not for everyone. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, you know, my family that I'm with, and it's Bruce Wayne and the puppies that I'm with, and they make me happy. And, you know, personally for me, it was just, it's a good decision. I'm glad I made it. So Bruce Wayne will live on in these little guys and maybe in others. There's actually more cells of Bruce Wayne that if I wanted to do it in 15 years, I could do it <laughs> again. Now there is a fifth clone of Bruce Wayne who belongs to a friend of Misha Kaufman's. That dog does have some health issues that are not believed to be related to cloning. The folks at Viagen Pets tell us thousands of pet owners have stored samples with their genetic preservation service. And there is currently a waiting list to produce a clone, a few months for dogs, and an even longer wait for cats. Live in the studio, Deborah Wiener, WBAL, TV 11 News.